Hello, good day po sa ating lahat. Once again, it's me, Teacher Koy, and welcome to Isip Math Tutorial. And for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin yung Grade 7 Mathematics, Quarter 2, Module 4, and our topic is polynomials. But before that, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para lagi pa kong updated sa lahat ng mga bagong videos po natin. And our learning competencies, we have here, the learner evaluates algebra expressions for given values of the variables and the learner adds and subtracts polynomials. And our objectives, at the end of the lesson, you're expected to evaluate an algebra expression, identify similar terms, add polynomials, and subtract polynomials. And I'm using the Bohol Division module. Okay, so dito po yung binigay sa Bohol Division. Okay, so this, once again, this is for grade 7 mathematics, quarter 2, module 4. So, lesson 1, evaluating algebraic expression. So, to evaluate algebraic expression means to find the value of the expression. Okay, so and we have the steps to follow in evaluating algebraic expression. First, substitute the given values for each variable. Okay, then... Second, simplify using PEMDAS. So, ano po yung PEMDAS? Diba? PEMDAS, way back on your lower years. PEMDAS is parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay? Then, number three, simplify the result. So, for our examples, we have here evaluate x plus 3y. Okay, x plus 3y, if x is equal to positive 2 and y is equal to positive 1. So, what you're going to do is substitute, diba? Substitute the given values of each variable. So, meron pong variable x at saka variable y. Then, the value of x is positive 2, the value of y is positive 1. So, substitute natin. So, substitute natin dito sa x plus 3y. So, magiging x is 2, y is negative 1. So, 2 plus 3 times negative 1. So, using PEMDAS. Okay, so, what we're going to do here is go to multiplication. Meron po tayong multiplication dito. Diba? 3 times negative 1. Okay. So, this is positive 3 times negative 1. The result is negative 3. So, nagiging 2 minus 3. Wala po tayong addition or division. So, let's go to subtraction. So, nagiging 2 minus 3. So, positive 2 minus 3, the result is negative 1. Okay, that's it for our example number 1. For example number 2, we have here 2x squared minus 3xy plus 4y cubed. Then, our values sa ating variables ay x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to positive 2. So, substitute natin to sa ating equation. Okay, so... The result is magiging ganito. 2x squared minus 3xy diba? plus 4y cubed. So, sa ating 2x squared, eh, magiging 2 times negative 1. Diba? Negative 1 sa x. Then, squared. Minus 3 times x na negative 1 times y na positive 2. Plus 4 times y which is positive 2. Then, cubed. Raised to the power of 3. Okay. So, simplify. Simplify natin. So, using PEMDAS, meron pa tayong parenthesis dito. Diba, wala. Then, exponent. Yes, we have exponent. So, for this one, ito sa first natin, sa 2x, diba, 2x squared. So, nagiging, ganito na po siya, 2 times x. Bakit, bakit nagiging positive 1? Because, Negative 1, yeah, we have here negative 1, then square, that is negative 1 times negative 1, the result is positive 1. Exponent. Okay. Next, this one, negative 3 times negative 2. Bakit nagiging negative 2 po siya? Because this one, negative 1 times positive 2, that is negative 2. Okay. Then next, we have here 4 times 8. Saan galing siya? Dito. Diba? So, 2 raised to the power of 3. So, that is 2 times 2. 
times 2. The result is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Okay. So, ito na po siya. Then, simplify further. So, multiplication. Multiplication. 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Then, positive 4 times positive 8. That's positive 32. Then, addition. Wala po tayong subtraction or division dito. So, addition. They are all positive. So, 2 plus 6 plus 32. The result is 40. Okay, that's for our lesson number 1. Then, we have here the um, exercise. This one. Try to answer this one. Gaya po yung, gaya po ng ating ginawa dito sa taas. Okay. Meron pong value ni x na positive 2. Value ni y na negative 1. At value ni z na positive 3. For our lesson 2, we have identifying similar terms. So, consider the trinomial 8x to the power of 3 minus y plus 32. This one. So, the three terms of the trinomials are 8x cubed. This is our first term, diba? And our second term is negative y. And our third term is positive 32. So, in 8x, this one, in 8x raised to the power of 3, 8 is the numerical coefficient. Uh, 8, this one, 8. 8 is our numerical coefficient. Okay? Then, x to the power of 3 or x cubed is the literal coefficient. Okay? So, that's for our first term. A numerical coefficient of 1 can be omitted in a term such as that in the term negative y, diba sa ating second term, negative y, which means meron po siyang numerical coefficient na negative 1. So, that is negative 1 y. So, pwede po natin siyang i-omit. Hindi po siya natin ipakita. So, automatic po yan. If ang ating variable ay negative 1, and, and, I mean negative y, so automatic yung numerical coefficient is negative 1. Diba? So, if the variable is positive 1, so automatic po yung numerical coefficient na ano, positive x, so ang kanyang numerical coefficient ay positive 1. So, what if the given um, uh, variable is x to the power of 3? So, automatic po, meron may, may po siyang numerical coefficient na 1. So, that is 1 x to the power of 3. So, pwede natin i-omit yung 1. So, x to the power of 3. So, same also dito sa ating second term. So, the term 32 is called the constant. Ito yung last term po natin. Constant, wala po siyang katabi na variable. Diba? Purely, ano po siya? A number lang, a real number. So, called the constant, which is usually referred to as the term without a variable. Okay, so the numerical coefficient is the number in a term. Diba? Yung kanina, numerical coefficient, yung number katabi ng variable. The literal coefficient is the variable including exponent. Ito po yung variable, kasama si exponent. Then the term with the same literal coefficient of the same degree are called similar term. Otherwise, they are called dissimilar term. Kung ang kanyang literal coefficient ay pariho, same degree, same exponent, it means similar term. Pag hindi po same degree or same exponent, it means dissimilar term. So we have here the example. Number one, we have here 2ab, then 6ab, and negative ab are similar terms because they have the same literal coefficient ab. Diba? ab, same literal coefficient ab. So they are similar terms. For our second example, we have here 2ab, 3ab, and negative 5b. So they are dissimilar terms because ang dalawa dito, si 2ab at saka si 3ab, similar terms. But the other one is negative 5b, only b. Diba? Ang kanyang literal coefficient. So therefore, this one is dissimilar terms. Okay, so that's for our lesson 2. Then we have here the exercise. Just try to answer this one. Okay. Then for our lesson 3, addition and subtraction of polynomials. So to add polynomials, combine similar terms. Diba? 
yung ginawa natin kanina, di ba? Recall that similar terms, kung ano po yung similar terms, at saka kung ano po yung dissimilar terms. Having the same literal coefficient, that is the similar terms. Similar terms. And having the different literal coefficients, so dissimilar terms. Add the numerical coefficients using the rule in addition or of signed numbers and copy the same literal terms. So, kung mag-add po tayo ng polynomials na similar literal coefficient so we will just add the numerical coefficient then carry the literal coefficient so for example we have here find the sum uh, find the sum the quantity 3x minus 4 diba? plus the quantity quantity 7x plus 8 so as you can see it here um meron po silang ano same diba same variable or literal term na x this one 3 3x yung sa kabila is 7x di ba so combine po natin sila combine po yung um, merong variable x okay merong literal coefficient which is x at saka combine din po natin yung walang literal coefficient yung constant so magiging ganito po siya 3x plus 7x di ba at saka yung constant ay negative 4 plus 8 because negative 4 po yung isa then positive 8 yung isa so simplify so this one add lang po natin si 3 at saka si 7 because they have they have similar literal coefficient so just simply add 3 plus 7 so 3 plus 7 is 10 then carry the literal coefficient which is x because similar po sila diba so that's why nagiging ganito po siya 10 x. Na sa kabila naman, we have here negative 4 plus 8. So, negative 4 plus 8. So, the result is positive 4. Because 8 is larger than negative 4. Therefore, we carry the sign of 8 which is positive. So, positive 4. Our final answer is 10x plus 4. Okay? So, for our example number 2, we have here involved na po siya yung merong um, exponent okay so we have a similar literal coefficient x squared so si 5x at saka si negative 2x squared diba similar literal coefficient how about this one 2x wala po siyang kapariha diba then we have constant 3 and 7 so we will combine 5x squared and negative 2x squared okay so add or subtract the numerical coefficient 5 and negative 2 the result is positive 3 then carry the literal exponent which is x squared okay then for 2x wala po sa kapuriya so for 2x okay then for our constant we have positive 3 and negative 7 diba so add natin sila the result is negative 4 bakit negative 4 masubtract mo natin kasi, kasi positive 3 yun sa negative 7 yun sa then 7 is um, larger than 3 so we will use the sign of 7 which is negative so nagiging negative 4 so this is our final answer 3x squared plus 2x minus 4 so addition of all the numerals can be transformed or perform vertically so pwede natin vert vertical method this one okay so okay so we have 5x squared plus 2x plus 3 Meron sa kapariha dito, di ba? Si negative 2x squared, si 2x is wala. Then, sa constant 3, merong negative 7. So, add that one. So, 5x squared plus negative 2x squared. Add 5 minus 2 is 3x squared, di ba? Plus 2x, this one. Then, positive 3 plus negative 7, the result is negative 4. Okay. So, that's for our addition. And for our subtraction, so to subtract polynomials change the sign diba? sign of the subtrahend then proceed to the addition rule also remember what subtraction means it is adding the negative of the quantity only similar terms can be subtracted so we have here the example so two, uh, five, 5x minus 13x diba? so simply change natin yung ating sign ng ating subtrahend nagiging plus Diba? Plus, but 
we'll carry the sign. This is, this is negative 13. Negative 13. So negative 13x. So therefore, 5x plus negative 13x, the result is 8x. Because 13 is bigger than 5, so therefore, we will use the, the sign of 13, which is negative. And then, carry the literal coefficient x because they are similar they have this they have similar literal coefficient for example number two we have here uh 2x negative 2x squared minus 5 15 15 x plus 25 diba? this is quantity isang parenthesis po uh, isa, isang bracket po sila or parenthesis then uh minus 3x squared minus 12x so, ito si negative 2x squared at saka si positive 3x squared ay pwede natin silang ma-combine. Di ba? Then, we have also here 15x and 12x. Di ba? Okay. So, now, let's proceed. You see, uh, pwede siya vertical to. Pwede, pwede, pwede po siyang um, vertical method this one vertical po siya sa taas yung first term this one okay then this one ito sa baba okay then we'll change the sign this one is minus we'll change that one into plus okay simplify so 2 negative 2x squared plus negative 3x squared so they have the same sign nagiging 5x squared then negative 15x plus 12x this is 15x then this is um 12x so nagiging negative 3x and then 25 okay so that's it and for our example number three we have this one let's try to study this one okay the same same method na yung ginawa natin sa taas okay so that's it for our module four in grade seven mathematics and we have here the exercise find the sum and find the difference difference is subtraction right so that's it so i hope nanggit pa yung ibig natin sabihin once again this is me this is me teacher koi of easy Tutorial. thanks for watching and see you in my next video